this message is titled, It's Time to Wake Up. Jonah chapter 1. Starting at verse 1. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of Amalekai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Notice, Jonah's going the other way. And went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. I can't pronounce these names right. You got to bear with me. So he paid the fare thereof and went down unto it to go with them unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea and there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his god and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea. By the way, when it said God, notice it's a lowercase g. So it was not referring to the true God. They were calling upon their idols. To lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship. And he lay and was fast asleep. While this storm was coming, Jonah was asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? He's mad at him because he's sleeping when the storm's hitting. Arise, call upon thy God. Now it's a capital G. Because this is referring to the true God. If so, be that God will think upon us that we perish not. If you read the rest of the story, he ends up going into the belly of the whale and so forth. But that's as far as I'm going to go on this. Acts chapter 12. Verse 1. Now about that time. Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had uh, apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quatrains of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter, I think it meant Passover when it said Easter, by the way, to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, 
was kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. And the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly, and his chains fell off from his hands. Notice, Peter was sleeping here. He was about to be killed the next day. A lot of people or asleep, facing spiritual death. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he says unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. That's about like most of us are when we first wake up before we get our coffee. Verse 10, he's still half asleep here basically. When they were past the first and second ward, they came unto the iron gate that led us unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself. He said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation, expectation of the people of the Jews. People are asleep today. We are living in the end of time, but people are asleep. The government is corrupt and has been corrupt for a long time, but people are asleep. By the way, I believe these riots that are happening, I believe these people were government paid to riot. For one, it discredit the cause. And two, it would give the government an excuse to declare martial law. Each day, 4,000 babies are killed in these slaughterhouses they call abortion clinics. But people are asleep. People need to wake up. For time is short. Verse 11. 